Hello everybody, it's me, Lego Tron Fantasy 3 back with another Lego review. Today so I'm going to be doing a review on it's the Lego Ninja Go set nine four four one Kai's Cycle Blade. Um so this was released in December two thousand eleven, I think, or two thousand twelve. Comes with hundred and eighty eight pieces, ages eight to fourteen. Um comes with two mini figs. Its retail price was Twelve ninety nine pounds in the UK and fourteen ninety nine US dollars. Uh so yeah. Now on to the um box. So this is the front of the box. Lego Ninja Go Master Spinja Two, ages eight to fourteen, set nine four four one, it converts. You get a nice picture. Uh, this is the top, and it says the names of both of the minifigs, Ratla and Kai ZX, and it shows the actual size of Kai, and, um, Lego Ninja Go, all that, and, um, in the back, you get, uh, shows the minifig, Ratla, Lego Ninja Go Master Spinja 2, surprise, Blade attack. Set 9441. You get the features. This is the um, third staff. Staff out of four. And it's uh, advertised for ninja.com. And all that. So, uh, yeah. That's it for the box. Um, so now into the instruction manual. Um, so the front of the instruction manual is exactly, has exactly the same um, the same picture, I guess, as the box, so I really think it's nothing too special, so it's exactly the same, like a Ninja Go 9441, it converts, and all that, we already know that, and, um, this is the back, wind stuff, and so the shrine has six steps of fitting, and the uh, cycle blade has 43 steps of fitting, 59 pages. Well, the manual has 62 pages. And this is all the pieces. These are the advertisers to buy the booster packs. I have the... Nine five three nine five five three, and they advertise for customizing your own sets. And this is the weapon checklist. So yeah. And here it advertises for some more sets. So yeah. And here it shows you all the characters. And ninjago.com, ninjago.com again, Max Club, when and stuff. So, yeah, that's it for the instruction manual and the box. Now, on to um, the set. First off, the minifigs. So, we are going to start off with Ratla. Uh, it's extremely dark. So, uh, I had no idea. How I'm gonna do this? Cause Ratla is a extremely, is extremely dark color, dark blue. So yeah. So here is how he looks like. He's got some nice detailing, as you can see on him. Um. So that's the side. He's got a nice headpiece, and you get a sharp thing on there. The head. As the head part, or the hat piece, has printings on it, and the minifig does have back printing. So yeah, comes with a black staff, or sphere, I forgot what it's called, but yeah. Very nice printings of, and um, by the way, he's Ratla, he's in the Hypnobride. In case you didn't know, it's got some nice back printings. 
His head is dark blue. It's a really dark color for the camera, so. Yeah. But anyway. So uh, you get the fangs on his face. You get the red eyes. And yeah, I think he's a pretty cool minifig. And now on to Kai ZX. Now I think it'd be preferable um, to take off the katanas. So he has these swords, black swords called katanas. They have black katanas. So yeah, nothing really too surprising about that because of the fact that we've already had a lot of these katanas over the years. So yeah. Um, he's got a nice, um, headpiece with some gold on it. He's got, um, some gold, gold shoulder pads there and some gold on his helmet. You can take that off. He's got his normal Kai face. Nothing really too surprising about that. Um, he's got some nice printings on the torso with some shurikens on the shuriken device, the normal shurikens. He's got some nice like printings, nice armor. In the back, you get some nice printing, and uh, you can see the lion in the back, and you get a circle. That's a the golden circle where you can attach your um, your swords, but then after you won't be able to see it, so you can see that. Um, so yeah. And I'll show you how he looks like without the, um, without the armor. So, yeah. So how he looks like in the back. It's a more like a line. So, yeah. That's it for the minifigs. I'm going to put them back. I'm taking a lot of time to put this minifig together. So, um, yeah, that's it for the minifigs. Now to the shrine. So first start off by the shrine. It's a very, not, it's small part, uh, so, yeah. This is, it includes a, includes the Hypnobride staff. You can tell it's, um, a staff for the snakes because it's like a snake and it, that it shows that it's the hymn of bride because it has a spiral on it. So it's a very nice um, staff. Whoops, it fell off my hands. So yeah, that's the back, and this is uh, the bottom part. You get some sort of these green steps, and you get these flames, and that's um, you get that round two by two brick thing and then you can just stick that there and in the back you get some plants and uh, yeah that's it for the shrine get some nice element pieces so yeah and now on to the blade um, this is the blade very nice blade now let's talk about the color schemes um so it's basically red yes black pieces have been included some white pieces Tiny bit of blue pieces, golden pieces, of course. So, yeah. Start by the stickers. Um, we've got a couple of stickers. We got three in the front. That's the. We got a sticker there. One sticker there. One sticker there. One sticker here. One sticker there. And sticker here. One sticker there. And one sticker there. Um, now you get the, now the wheels, they move, um, they just move just like that, and it's really cool, and you get these, sort of, some sort of these huge dagger things, like, some sort of huge, um, sword thing that, two of these swords that come out, that's really cool, and then, on the bottom, you get these dagger parts, so that's really cool. Um, you can also get these dagger elements in Jay's Jet, I guess it's called, and the JZX Booster Pack. So, yeah. Um, here you get these these pieces. They've included these pieces. They are like some sort of these machetes. 
They even included these huge machetes, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, so uh, here you can tell it's a motor because they, I think it's a V8 engine or something. I don't, I really, uh, why would he care about that anyways? But yeah, there you get the wheels in the back. So it spins, like normal. And I like the flame stickers. I really, I think that adds the effect. So yeah. And then here it says, it has a sticker and it says in a really small, it says Octan 88. And then here's the oil and that's the gasoline, I guess. So, um, yeah. And then um, you get the handle up there. And there you get, you get some studs where you can fit Kai ZX and you get some backlights, brake lights. So, yeah. Um, now onto the features. So, if you push on this um, piece, that is going to push. Um, that's, this, that's why it converts. It's really cool. So, it converts like that. So, it's like, um, it's, it's, I think it's cool, but I think it's very interesting how they did the effect. They, um, they thought that if these would push out, they added these um, tooth plates so these parts would move out too. So I thought that was really interesting. So it does convert. Just like that. See the difference? Sometimes mine is quite delicate, or maybe yours, because the top part is quite delicate. Um, so this part is delicate. So if you have the set. Um, so it moves like that. And why? Because you push that, and it pushes these plates, thanks to this bionicle Borok eye. So it pushes that, like that. So it's a really pretty cool thing, attack, that you can do. So you can, like, attack your enemy, like that. You can take him down. And, um, so I'm going to show you how the bike looks like putting it there so you get the handle I guess I didn't include so you get the handle and it's quite small um, compared to the instruction manual it's even f smaller I mean it's really small so yeah I was kind of expecting it was small be small because in the Ninja Go series, it is small, so, yeah, and I think it's, uh, cool that they added the shrine, because if you, if it really, if they added really this by itself, that would be really lame, because, I mean, come on, you need to add the shrine, so, yeah, um, if I had to give my ratings on this, uh, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10, uh, the reason why I give it a 9 out of 10, number one, because I think it's an awesome set. Ninja Go is now one of my favorite themes. Um, the downside about this, the negative part, is that um, these parts, these parts um, here are very delicate. Um, so when I push this most of the time, sometimes this gets loose. See? It gets loose. So that's what, that's just a little downside, but... Nothing stops this set to be cool. It's just really cool. So, yeah. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this review. So, um, stay tuned for more reviews. Please uh, subscribe, rate, comment, and favorite this video. Stay tuned for more reviews and videos, and I will see you next time. And, by the way, today is my birthday. Yay! So, yeah. See you next time. Bye.